This is not the Strifex tournament review that I had planned for this weekend. This is something that I have to talk about now, otherwise we run out of time for it. I'm sorry that the review will be delayed a week because of this, but last year Dart Zone, or the company that owns Dart Zone, Eggsbon, uh, filed for the trademark of Blaster Tag. Now that is a very generic term that the hobby has used. I personally have been using it since 2016 or earlier, and I know many other people have been using it uh, to describe our hobby. Since we can't use Nerf in any official capacity, we needed to create a term of our own for our hobby as a descriptor. Blaster Tag is a relatively simple, easy, descriptive name for what we do. Unfortunately, if Dart Zone does get the trademark to Blaster Tag, which right now it looks like they will, we'll get into the potential of stopping it in a minute here, but that could change things. Now, we could still use it in casual conversation like we do Nerf when we're talking with each other, but in any official capacity, we likely would not be able to use the term Blaster Tag. This sucks. Uh, I, I wanted to have a script to hit all the points I wanted to make for this video, but I, I quickly realized that I was never going to be satisfied uh, with whatever I wrote. And this is time sensitive, so we're, we're just, we're talking at this point. I've tried to stay level-headed, calm, and rational about this since the trademark was submitted last year. Uh, but seeing it effectively approved at this point has me frustrated, disappointed, and uncertain on what to do moving forward. And that's where this video comes in and wanting to discuss with all of you about what the options are for the term blaster tag. I remember a clip from after Dart Zone Pro Tournament last year where they said that Dart Zone is a guest in our hobby. And I had hoped that that was something they truly meant and, and wanted to work with the hobby and be on good terms with the hobby. But taking a hobby term and trademarking it for their use so that they can advertise using it and not allow other companies, namely, my big concern is hobby companies. If this was just Hasbro versus Dart Zone versus X-Shot, I'd be less concerned, less worried about the implications of this. It is important to take a moment to note here that I do have a personal interest in this as well because I started the Blaster Tag Association to kind of try to be a hub for the tournament competitive scene side of the hobby and all of that, which is one of the reasons I've been hesitant to say anything or post a video like this about this because it can come off as uh, self-serving oh, woe is me, they're taking my name, and, and things like that. But to me, it feels like it goes beyond that. After being reached out to last year when this initially was filed to ask about irrevocable express consent for people to use the term blaster tag still, uh, in my case specifically, they said they would support me filing for blaster tag association trademark, which doesn't solve anything, doesn't help anyone. Um, doesn't even really help me, to be honest. Sure, I could continue using that name, but the term Blaster Tag is still trademarked by them. It doesn't open anything up. And that's, to me, disappointing. And I don't want to be upset at Dart Zone because they're a company doing a thing companies do. But to come into our hobby, take a term, and make it their own when they say they're guests kind of stings especially after they were a prize sponsor of the Blaster Tag Association tournament at Ragnar Oktoberfest in 2019. Now they claim they did not know that it was a BTA run event, but it's still just a bit of a letdown because I want to root for Dart Zone. They were the first major company to acknowledge and create something for the hobby side of the community, for the people that want to play competitive, for the people that want a higher FPS, higher performing blasters. That is not nothing. That's something I have been, I don't know if grateful for is the right term, but I think it's important to keep in mind. And that's why I've tried to give them some amount of benefit of the doubt over the last 
couple years of things happening, but I don't know at this point. I I love that they have made these blasters for us. Even if they're not perfect, even if I have to be critical of them when I review them, I love that they're making them. So in the end, I, I want Dart Zone to succeed with the hobby together, not because they're stepping on us and over us. I feel like I should give some history here. Back in 2018, I actually filed for the Blaster Tag trademark because there was some concern over companies using it and I felt like it was a generic term. It was representative of the hobby. It's not something that a company should have. So I filed for it with the intent of making it expressly uh, available for anyone that wanted to use it. Uh, I was hoping it would be rejected, and it was. It was uh, rejected on the terms of being merely descriptive, which is perfect. It's exactly the outcome we wanted. And there's a process when you're rejected where you can counter it. It's not the term, but you can essentially come back at them and say, no, here's why I think it should be. And I didn't do that because I had no real desire to own that trademark. I, I just want it to be freely available to everyone. So I, I felt that was a success. And from there, I was like, cool, we don't have to worry about that anymore. And I was happy. So when Dart Zone filed last year for the trademark, I had hopes that my precedent would deny them the ability to claim the trademark. That does not seem to be the case. Uh, despite the fact that their filing is very similar to mine, uh, they have somehow gotten through and are in the now opposition phase. So there's a 30 day period from the posting of the beginning of that phase to the end of it, where people can file uh, to oppose the trademark. And it's something that is not free. It costs $600 to do that. I don't know about all of you, but I don't have an extra $600 just lying around to do that. Uh, and it's not a guarantee. It's, it's not like this is, you know, you file and it automatically goes away. No, you file and then it seems like it turns into a trial. You go through a discovery period where there are depositions, uh, um, evidence gathering and trading back and forth. People request things. Uh, and it, it seems like it could potentially turn into a full-blown trial, which who's going to win that? The person that doesn't have a whole lot of funds for a, a lawsuit or, or a trial, whatever it is, or a company that has a legal team. Uh, despite the fact that I have set a precedent, I guess, with, with the failed, you know, so to be brutally honest, I don't have a lot of hope at this point, uh, which kind of sucks. I have had some people already contact me saying they would be happy to contribute a little bit towards that $600 filing fee. I don't think it would be enough with just the people that have reached out already, but this is one of the reasons I'm here making this video is I know I have my perspective on this, but I also want to hear from the community as to what we should do. Should we try and raise the money and go through the process of submitting and potentially having to deal with a trial and trying to keep this term? Or do we just accept that Dart Zone owns this now um, and we have to find something else to describe the hobby? We can't use, uh, you know, we can't use Nerf. We wouldn't be able to use blaster tag. We can't use dart tag because Hasbro also has that. Um, you know, it, it eliminates a number of things. So it's, I want to hear everyone's opinions on this and what to do to move forward. We have until I believe the 14th of September. So like less than two weeks from the time this is getting posted. I don't think this is something we can come together and kind of pressure Dart Zone to abandon. I don't think they have any interest in doing that. I think what they expect is that we may be vocal about it 
for a little bit and then we'll just kind of begrudgingly accept it, which is entirely possible and what most companies expect because it's a common thing that happens when uh, anything happens for corporate anything. So that's kind of my expectation of how they're going to view this. They're, they're not seeming to be interested in uh, openness with the community about this term. I would love to be wrong. I would love for them to come out and say, hey, we understand that this is a sort of broad, vague, descriptive term that isn't really dialing in on one specific thing, but representative of an entire hobby space or game. Uh, and we don't want to take that from you. I, I would love that. I just don't know that that's a reality of, of happening. So I want to hear everyone's opinion on this, whether you are brand new to the hobby, whether you've been here for a decade plus, whether you barely play, you only mod, you run a business, you run events, every aspect, I, I want your opinions. They are super important on this and the direction we should go for all of this. Personally, I'm going to be thinking about names to replace Blast Tag Association with in case this doesn't go the way we hope it does, or I hope it does. And I'm sorry if this video is a bit disjointed. Um, this is just me sharing thoughts with all of you and wanting that discussion to happen back and forth. So, you know, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate anyone who shares their thoughts. Uh, down below. I'm just one person in this hobby. So really what it comes down to is are we as a community, as a hobby, okay with Dart Zone taking this term or not? 